Hello and welcome to Custom Solutions Pacific Northwest. Today we're doing an install video on an F-150 uh, that will also apply to the Super Duty Series. Alright, before we get started here, I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview on what you're going to see beforehand. Right now you have the center line that uh, is on the OE camera and then you have the bed which is much appears much longer and the tailgate appears much narrower than usual so I'll give you a quick uh, view of what this is going to look like prior to installation I'd like to go over some of the tools that we're going to be using today the first one is going to be a seven millimeter socket that will fit into these four screws here that will remove your your tail light assembly another tool that you can use is going to be a t20 bit and for removal, I'm going to use a power tool, but uh, for install, you definitely want to use a hand tool so you don't ruin your taillight assembly as you're, uh, if you don't overdrive the screws into place. Now, as I'm removing these screws, you want to be careful to support the brake light assembly so that when you finish removing the screws, the brake light assembly doesn't fall off of the truck and damage the wiring harness. So now that all four screws have been removed, you're going to pull this down. You'll be able to see the, the pigtail for the brake lights and the pigtail for the camera assembly. Now I'm going to remove the brake light assembly pigtail first. There is a little tab right here that you're going to squeeze with your fingers and as you pinch that you should be able to remove that brake light assembly. On the camera assembly there's a little tab right here. You're going to squeeze on that. That should lift up the front part of this, this locking tab and then pull on that. Kind of wiggle it back and forth a little bit to get it off. Once you've got it off, you can remove it, set it aside. Now that you've got the brake light assembly removed, I am going to remove these screws that are inside the brake light assembly. So you'll take your Custom Solutions PNW box, open it up, and you know, take care not to drop this uh, camera. But included is a is a uh, T10 screwdriver that we're going to use to remove the screws. Take care not to drop them into the brake light assembly. Once you have the T10 screws removed, we can pull this OE brake cam camera out. And it takes a little bit of wiggling and finesse to get it out of there. Set it aside. Then we're going to take your new camera assembly out of the box. Oop, there goes the cap. You're going to want to remove the cap on the on the camera assembly. Set that aside. You're going to take the new camera, install with the lens first, and then kind of rotate it into place so that the you are getting the seal through that hole there. Once you get it all the way into place, it's just going to be installing the two screws back into place. You just want to make sure that these screws are just snug, not too tight, but nice and snug. Okay. Once you have the assembly here and uh, with your camera installed, you're going to take the brake light assembly with a little tab facing to the passenger side. You're going to reinstall that that brake light and then you're going to rotate this pigtail just 90 degrees from where it was originally and that with the tab face the tab facing up you're going to push that into place 
give it a little wiggle and then give it a good solid push into place so that it's all the way seated. Then you're going to line up these two holes here, right here on each end of the brake light assembly, and then those are going to go into place. Have somebody hold it for you, or um, or just hold it with one hand to get a couple of the screws started. I just run a couple down with my hands and then I can get the screwdriver out to finish the job. Now that I've got the four screws just started, I'm going to take my seven millimeter hand tool and seat these all the way down. So they're snug as well. Take caution not to over tighten as you will strip the plastic retainer. Alright, now that we've got the new camera bed camera installed, you can clearly see the difference in the size of the tailgate here and the detail and the, the sides of the bed as well as the difference in color and picture of the background. Anyway, that's all for the installation, so thanks for joining me today. That was the installation again on an F-150, however the Super Duties will be the same. So, I hope you enjoy your product, Custom Solutions, PNW.